Imagine standing on the parched soils of eastern Rajasthan, where the Christians does Rajasthan have water has haunted communities for generations. In this arid landscape, the Ram Jal Setu Link project emerges not just an infrastructure initiative but as a lifeline, an answer to a crisis that has defined the state's struggle for survival and growth. Once known as the East Rajasthan Canal Project ERCP, this initiative represents a turning point in region's history of water management. The project was inaugurated on December 17, 2024 by the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Sri Bhajalal Sharma. Making a pivotal role in the state's effort to solve its water scarcity. Ceremony was attended by key officials from both the central and state governments, underscoring the importance of the project for Rajasthan's future. An interesting and meaningful aspect of this project lies in its very name, Ram Jal Setu, officially renamed in January 2025 by Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma, the name holds a dual significance. While it draws inspiration, mythological Ram Setu symbolizing monumental connectivity, in the context of this project, Ram is an acronym RA for Rajasthan and M for Madhya Pradesh. Ram Jal Setu stands for the water bridge means Jal Setu uniting Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh, both the participating states in this strategic water sharing endeavor. If you look at the ERCP project map or the Eastern Rajasthan Canal project map, you will immediately see the scale and the ambition of this particular plan. The map themselves tells a story a blueprint for redirecting hope to water-starved districts and communities, all through the link interlinking of major river systems of Rajasthan. But what does this project actually aim to achieve? At this core, at its core, the Ram Jal Setu uh, Link project is designed to address water scarcity and ensure equitable water distribution. So, 17 water stressed districts of Rajasthan, namely Jhalawad, Bara, Kota, Bundi, Tonk, Savai Mahadopur, Dosa, Karoli, Dholpur, Bharatpur, Deeg, Alwar, Kertal Tijara, Kot Putli Baharod, Jaipur, Ajmer, and Byawar stand to benefit from this particular project. The project is actually uh, it is acutely aware of challenges posed by Rajasthan's weather patterns also and recognize the importance of addressing the unique water crisis here. Even as India as a whole grapples with climate variability from humid coastal towns to the arid Thar desert, efficient water resource management is a central pillar of this project. The Ram Jal Setu Link project plans to utilize surplus monsoon water from the Parvati, Kali, Sindh, Chambal and Mej river sub-basins. By harnessing the abundance of monsoon seasons, the project not only supports Rajasthan but also sets an example for other states like Andhra Pradesh, Gudivada region where monsoon reliability is equally unpredictable. When it comes to comprehensive water utilization, the Ram Jal Setu project aims to provide water for a range of needs, drinking, irrigation, industrial use, and groundwater recharge. These efforts are intended to combat both surface and groundwater depletion, driving rural development and supporting water conservation on a scale that goes beyond agriculture to include Rajasthan's burgeoning industrial sectors much like the industrial activities in the Shivakasi, Tamil Nadu. The numbers underscore the ambition. Total allocation in this project is 4,102 million cubic meters 
of water out of this drinking water 1744 million cubic meters irrigation 1159 covering 2.82 uh, lakh hectares of land interest industrial use around approximately 205 million cubic meters reservoir fillings and recharge 723 million cubic meters and recycled or drought contingency 522 million cubic meters so this particular project infrastructure is like infra the projects infrastructure backbone is very impressive dams such as dungri dam dungri dam height is 39 meters high and it is 1.6 km long the isarda dam on banas river in tonk sawai madhopur districts and the under construction parban dam on the parban parban river in jhalawar district of rajasthan barrages like ramgad on the kul river mehalpur on parvati river navanera on kalisind river on mej baraj on mej river and rathod baraj on banas river all these barrages enhance the water diversion and storage capacity a very important elevated canal 2.28 km long elevated canal it spans over banas river connecting fililunda village in dosa to ghoghata village in sawai madhopur these uh, connections embodying engineering ingenuity so this initiative is part of a broader movement that includes chambal river link project and the chambal canal irrigation project collectively marking one of the rajasthan's largest irrigation revolutions the new dams and barrages work alongside ancient water conservations like kunds uh, you will find in rajasthan it it shows a blend of tradition plus modernity in tackling water crisis especially vital in areas where monsoons rain can vary as much as they do in balangir odisha like states as of june 2025 the project's momentum is un unmistakable phase 1 construction is set to begin uh, you know the final NOC no objections obje, uh, no objection certificate has been cleared uh, from the forest department just now phase 2 work is already underway and the project's estimated cost stands at around 72000 crores it may go up in the future also but uh, the good thing is that for Rajasthan and MPs that it 90% of the project is funded by the central government and 10% by the Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh okay so now i think you know that oversight is very robust the Rajasthan water resource department and the national water development agency are steering the project with strong polit political back backing from the current government what is the aim to deliver on the promise of water security rural development and future where water scarcity is no longer a constant threat however the story of ramjal setu link project is not without its challenges also environmental consideration are not are front and center the project scope includes the potential submergence of 37 square kilometer in the ecological sensitive ranthambore tiger uh, reserve touching the parts of kaila devi wildlife sanctuary also there are legitimate concerns about the wildlife habitats biodiversity and need to balance urgent human needs with ecological preservation basically we are talking about sustainable development here okay so these dilemmas are not unique to rajasthan basically regions across india from gudiwada to balangir in odisha these all areas face similar monsoon related water management issues that need to be addressed balancing development with environmental stewardship will remain a tight rope walk for all these you know the all such large scale projects ultimately the ramjal setu link project stands as a beacon of hope innovation and pragmatic governance it's an ambition blend of cutting edge engineering traditional wisdom and environmental sensitivity and its socio economic upliftment if 
this project is successful it could serve as a model for water management for not just in the rajasthan but across india uh, transforming arid landscape dry landscape into fertile resilient communities for generations to come thank you so much see you in the next one